All right, let's give you our next notes in uh, Algebra 1. This shouldn't be too long of a note, and I think it'll be a pretty uh, reasonable unit for you. I don't think it'll be extremely difficult. Maybe some of the algebra that you have to do could be. Uh, we'll see. But let me just show you. This is multiplying polynomials with monomials. This is Lesson uh, 82. And you see what we're talking about here. So we have this monomial, and then we have a polynomial, and we want to multiply them. Okay. So when we're going to do that, we're going to use a distributive property. So we just take 3x squared times 7x squared, and then we're going to multiply it by that one, and then we're going to multiply it by that one. So let's just do this down here really quick and see what our answer would be. So 3x squared times 7x squared. So we got, it's a negative, right? So of course this is a number, negative 21. And then, uh, then we're going to have, and it's... When we're multiplying, we just add exponents, so x to the fourth. Then we do the next one, negative 3x times a negative x. So that's going to be a positive 3x to the third. Do the second one, do the last one. So 4 times negative 3x squared, that's going to be negative 12x squared. And that's kind of the answer for that one. So that's a pretty easy process. And... Uh, then we're, what we're going to do with these is sometimes we're going to solve these if we can. And I'm going to show you kind of an example, but first give you the steps. So if we're trying to solve a polynomial, like one of these, we're going to do a simple one first, work our way up to the more difficult ones. But the main steps are we do this first step here. We use the distributive property, and we're going to collect all the like terms, and then we're going to use rules of algebra to solve. So uh, let's look at example of that here first. We'll look at example number two and uh, that should be good for these notes. It shouldn't be too long. So here we're going to use our distributive property again. Now this times this and this times this. This times this, right? Using the distributive. And then collect like terms. So let's go through this then. So we got 2a times 5a. It's going to be 10a squared. And then 2a minus 2 times that, it's going to be minus 4a. And then we're going to add these. 3a times uh, 2a is going to give us 6a squared. Do it again. 3a times 6 is going to be 18a. And then we're going to add 8. And that equals uh, a times 4 times a. So it's going to be 4a squared. And then a times 1 is just going to give us a. And then here we have 2a times uh, 6a. That's going to give us 12a squared. And then we have this one, 2a times negative 4, negative 8a, and then plus 50. Okay. And then we have this little equal separating it. So let's collect like terms on both sides and then go to the next step. So we got 10a, we got 6a, so that's going to give us 16a squared and 10a squared. That's all on this side, so we're going to have 16a squared. And sometimes I like to cross them out so I know that I got them. And then we have 18a and negative 4a, so that's going to give us plus 14a. Got those. And then we're going to have plus 8. Then we have on the other side, we have 4a squared, and we have 12a squared. That's going to give us 16a squared. Then here we're going to have uh, an a and a minus 8a. That's going to give us a minus 7a. And then we get that, 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 and that. And that's going to be plus 50. Okay. And then we're going to move things around so we get a by itself. And here it's real nice because we have 16a squared. Here's 16a squared. So we minus 16a squared on both sides. And they cancel. We end up with 14a plus 8 equals negative 7a plus 50. And then we'll do, let's add 7a to both sides. It's going to be 21a. And then let's minus 8 on both sides. That's going to give us 42. Divide by 21. And we get a equals 2. So that's an example how you do that. First you do the distributive property, then you uh, collect your like terms, then you use your algebra to solve for what A could be. 
Now, if we have an a squared at the end, we'll have to do something different. We're not quite to that yet, but, but we'll learn how to do that pretty soon. Let me just show you one more example of this distributed property as well, so you can get one more thing for your notes. Again, we're going to distribute this to both this one, this one, and this one. Let's see what that looks like one more time. So 5a squared times 4a squared, we do 5 times 4 is 20. And we count them. 2 and 2 gives us 4, a to the 4th. And we do it again. 5a squared times 2a, that's going to give us 10, a to the 3rd. And then 5a squared times negative 7, that's going to give us uh, negative 35 squared and it's also written in standard form four to three to two so that's good all right so add these notes to your notebook and we will practice these tomorrow in class it should be a pretty easy chapter